we just got to figure out a way to catch a good bag today and make the Bassmasters Classic. You know, this is literally the last day of the season for me right here. Got him. Got him, dude. Another big one right there. Okay. Got it. Maybe it's her. I think it's her, dude. I think it's her. It is her. It is her. Oh my gosh. Please stay on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. 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 Got him. It's a giant. Oh my god! Jew, you gotta be kidding me! gotta have up here 18 19 is okay 16 sucks so 20 plus pounds all right <clears throat> time three o'clock you're doing three first flight for me first flight for you yeah you're four go four. four what are you last flight no what time you do in 4 30 good when you get chills in the morning that means the weather is right yeah. just don't forget hey, where are we launching i don't even know where this thing's at Creek, Creek. It's the attitude you go across that bridge on the right yeah back in, it's back in there attitude we take the water every day as we wake up we're the best we piss excellence in the morning we're a hairy american hero if you ain't first you're last day one of a tournament doing this 23 years now and the feeling's the exact same every time so it's butterflies you know you spend a whole bunch of time putting forth the game plan watching the weather trying to figure out all the things that you can figure out and then now it's like the moment right before you employ your game plan and it's in the start racking it's pretty calm out today I don't think there's much wind at all. Looks really nice. We gotta go catch them, man. Goal today, believe it or not, it's gonna sound crazy, is 26 pounds. I hadn't seen 26 pounds, but it's possible. And I'm just gonna keep fishing and keep fishing and keep fishing. So, bring you guys along for this little journey. Thank you so much for everything that you do. For the channel, dropping comments, that really helps the channel. Guys, hitting that like button. I got a challenge for you. I think this video, We'll probably do 70, 80, 90,000 views. Maybe 100,000 views, okay? So that means 100,000 people watch it, roughly. I would love for you guys, if everyone's watching this video, just take a moment and hit the like button. Let's just see if we can't get like 10,000, 15,000 likes out of it. And also, hit the subscribe button. So I thank you so much for everything. McCoy's working hard, Max working hard. I'm working hard to produce some good stuff for you guys to watch and enjoy. So thank you again for everything. So. Let's get this thing going, guys. Got your luck, buddy. Good luck. Bust them. See you out there. Yep. Canterbury and I, are, we worked together on the lake the last couple days just because the lake's so big and you, know, you got to cover a lot of water in a short amount of time. So we, we really kind of put both of our eggs in one basket and kind of searched areas together 
that way we could cover these vast points and deals a little quicker and we found some some pretty good stuff if you watch the tournament you know the practice video so we'll probably be seeing Canterbury quite a bit today I'm gonna start on a spot he's gonna start on another spot and we're just gonna see what happens Soles of my shoes I want the knees of my jeans are torn sweat coming through my shirt keep pushing even though it hurts I'm chasing what I know is true there's nothing that I would not do when everyone around me drops I'm never gonna ever stop I won't waste another minute no I won't I'm a man on a mission I'm a man on a mission I don't need no permission couple but they didn't and they went down on it but I don't know what they were only to one other boat right now which is good but I see them on the graph dude they're just, they're just not even reacting well I mean some of them might not be fast we might leave here and go shallow here in a second I mean I'm you know like it's, it's not like they ate up with they ate up with people wasn't like there's one catch him there's one catch him there's one catch him it was just like i'm doing now it's just in a second the one you know one would go boom it would be a four or five pounder there's one little maybe maybe not little little it's gotta be little now all of a sudden he feels big big old head shakes too look at those head shakes dude look at those head shakes that's crazy this might be a giant, dude. <laughs> I don't think he knows he's hooked yet. <laughs> I don't think he knows he's hooked yet. <laughs> I think it might be a big one. I got my drag really light right now, but. Some crazy head shake. Oh, he's coming up to jump, dude. Don't do that, don't do that. But that's a start. And if there's one, I mean, there's like 10 on the screen, so now it's just a matter of getting back out there. I, I've done this several times where you put a little too much pressure on them, dude, and all of a sudden it just breaks. So you gotta be careful. Yeah, that's just a three pounder. But. least at least it's um small mouth out here come on get it dude there he is that's a big one some jump right here Four pounder. This is stressful. I want to just pull hard, but it's like every time I do, man, things break. Because what they do is they just run hard on you. They'll run real hard. It's gonna jump right here. No, don't do it again, dude. I mean, 
He's got light line. Put a little more on him. No, he's not even four. He's another three something. Another three something. See that hook fell out. Hmm. We'll catch a couple more if we don't get a, a big one. I mean, we're going to get a big one here. It's just, it's just a matter of landing it in front of one of them. Big one, dude. That's a big one. That's a big one. Sitting on it. Feels different. Yeah, that feels different. I hadn't seen him yet, but he just feels better. <sighs> this is crazy, guys. My heart. We should have done a heart monitor. want to just I mean it's just silly to to do anything more than this because it's like seven pound line dude it's just you just never know what's gonna happen I mean and you know they get up by the boat better just tire them out that's a big one now now we're talking that's a fish that's one we got one now it's a four something four six Nice in there. Four six. Oh, I didn't bring my oxygen. Okay. Dude, that one just sat on it too, man. I never felt him bite it, dude. I thought I was on a rock. Feel big at first. He's big. He's gonna jump right there. That was so cool. There were two of them. They were just oh. Yeah, he's big. He's big. He's another four pounder. Need these. I also need like some fives. I need some fives and sixes. Four eight. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. That's awesome, guys. That's so freaking awesome. Two big ones over here. Another four eight. I'm just gonna keep chipping away at it, man. That's all you can do. I didn't think he was big at first. I was like, dang, man.
again. He ain't dead. Get it. Oh, he chased up on her hardcore, dude. God, eat it, dude. There he is. Oh my gosh, you big one. Another, that's a big, big one, dude. Don't jump, dude, don't jump. This one might be bigger than all of them. This one might be a five, based on what it looked like. That's the pumps that scare me. <sighs> yeah. That's what happens, man. Dang. That was a five pounder, I think. What do you do, man? I mean, there's nothing you can do. I think so. Not a little one, I'll say that. They, 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 when you first hook them, they just don't, they don't do much at first, like. Checked it, dude. Bad mark on my line. I think I can catch 20, 3, 24 pounds here. That's what I think. Just because of the ones that I've caught in practice here, and plus the ones I've caught today, it's about the same ratio. So it's like, you know, three pounder, three and a half pounder, four and a half, five. Three and a half, three and a half, three, twelve, four, one, five, four, twelve. You know, it's like they're they're just all mixed in. So you have to find to do well in this tournament. There's schools of fish everywhere. But if there's not, if you don't have a chance at four and a half and fives, if they're not four and a half and fives swimming in the school, the ones you're trying to catch, then you can't get to 22, 23 pounds. It's impossible. Just went to some seven pound P line spin X, which is 
really the diameter of about five. It's it's gotten really calm, really sunny, and these pe these fish can see. They can see a lot. Quite a few of them right here, actually. They look good. They're right where they're supposed to be. Maybe. There he is. I don't know. I just don't know. Feels, I mean, feels pretty good. I don't think I've even got him off the bottom yet, dude. Which is kind of crazy. And, and I need to, because... Mother... Ah, you got to be freaking kidding me, dude. I mean, what do I do? Go lighter? It's like they're, they're pull, the hook's pulling out, so I'm going to go lighter on the drag. I put a little pressure on him just to get, because I said he's on the bottom. Couldn't get him off of the bottom, dude. It was a big one. I was afraid he was going to deep me on a rock. I didn't put a lot of pressure. I put more pressure on him, and he pulled off. So I'm just going to, at this point, just not pull at all. Just let him run around. We didn't see him. Could have been any size fish. Could have been a 3-4 again. Those 3-4s I caught, thought, big. Big head shakes, too, so... Well, at least I'm catching them now. I figured out how to catch them. Oh man. Oh, there's another big one with him. Oh my gosh. There's a big giant one with him. close to what we need to survive we need a lot more to make it so we got a short day today that's why i didn't want to run around a ton i got a long day tomorrow but we do need to make a run now we're gonna go check a shallow spot and then run out the lake Team tournament, we could just like throw out there and catch them. <laughs> it just tells me they're still in here. It's just, I don't know why. It's got me to find them. Yeah. Nice. Nice. We gotta hurry. I think three, four. Look how long this one is. A little different looking than the other ones. 4-1. Nice. Oh, come on, get it, dude. He's right on top. Oh, he got, he's got it. Oh, what the hay? What the hay? What the hay? Oh my gosh, dude. What in the world? Was that crazy or what, dude? Is that fun? I mean, that's freaking crazy, dude. There's like six more here. I gotta chase him, dude, because I don't want him. Uh, uh, 
Are you getting this? He's right here. <laughs> I don't think he's four, but he's close. He's a good one. He's a good one. Yeah, he's 310. 15 people have weighed in. 15 and 13 have over 20 pounds. I mean, this is like a whole other planet right now. I mean, I think we got 20. I hope. Because if we don't have 20, it's embarrassing. That's what it will be in like last place. It's more impressive to have 15. It's harder to catch 15 than 20. I mean, it's the truth. From Shelby, North Carolina, a three-time classic qualifier, two-time FLW Tour winner, Matt Airy. Five fish for Matt Airy here today. 19 pounds, 13 ounces. He was in the 12th place currently, but 19, 13. How discouraging is it to stand in that weigh-in bag and just see giant after giant? You know, I had a 3-4 in that bag. And first of all, you can't even weigh a 3 anything here. And 3-4 uh, is uh, really on the low end. So that's one fish I couldn't get rid of. And, man, this is something else. I said uh, I said it's going to be the best it's ever been, uh, at least for me. I've been coming here. I think this is my fifth time here, and it's just fishing unreal. I mean, this is... Uh, it's small mouth Disneyland in Taku's words and it's uh, it's truly fishing amazing and it's gonna take big 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 weights this week. But I'm excited to get after. I mean nineteen thirteen for lack of a better term I pretty much sucked today, but uh, we're gonna have to try to round up twenty three, twenty four pounds, get back in the same. Well, uh, yeah. So we're uh, almost dead last after weighing in 1913. <laughs> and uh, 15 people weighed, I was in like 12th place. Uh, it's unreal. I mean, I would have never guessed in a million years that almost 20 pounds was, is gonna have you probably below the middle of the pack. Uh, somehow I've gotta figure out how to catch 22 or 23 pounds. And I'm honestly not real sure how to do that right now. So um, I'll go out and go fish tomorrow, hopefully catch a couple five pounders. That's what's gonna take some five pounders. A seven time FLW Tour winner, former four Wood Cup champion from Clewiston, Florida, Scott Martin. Five fish here today for Scott Martin. Looks like a good day at the office. 20 pounds and nine ounces. Another 20 sack here on day number one. That I think our 13th bag over 20 pounds. How unbelievable is this place? 
I don't even have words at this point. I mean, this is so crazy. I mean, we're sitting back there in 2020, 2020. You know, we're, this is like the best fishery on the planet right now. So I tell you, and it's, it's so beautiful. The people are awesome. I hope we come here every single year. I mean, it, it's just, it's an unbelievable fishery. And I, just wait till the weigh-in's over. I think there's going to be probably 45 bags, 50 bags, over 20 pounds. That's, I've never been in a, uh, in a tournament quite like this. Can it continue or will we see some drop off? Here's the deal. We've got great weather. It's going to be calm tomorrow again. People can go where they want to go. They can see what they need to see. So it's not going to fall off quite as much. We've got good weather for the next three days. It's going to be record breaking. I can't wait to see how it all finishes. Good job here on day number one. I've been doing this 23 years. I've never, I've never been in a situation quite like this. This doesn't even seem real. Like this is a whole bunch of weirdness going on right now. I mean, look, we're out practicing. We all are having good practice. We all thought we were going to catch them pretty good, but still, I mean, nowhere in the equation did I think they were going to catch them this good. I think there's going to be 50 bags over 20 pounds. That's what I think. Uh, because look, the people are still out fishing right now. Those people are getting a, a, a chance to catch. All these bags are first flight. We're going to have to go out somehow and catch a 23, 24, 25 pound bag to get back in this thing. I mean, we're going to be in the cut, I think, but 20 pounds, nine ounces, we're cutting it close. Let's bring out the 2019 Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Alabama, Scott Canterbury. Five fish for Scott Canterbury here today. Five good ones. 20 pounds, four ounces, puts him in 50th place currently. With 20 pounds, four ounces. 20 pounds, four ounces, and anytime you weigh in 20 pounds, you should never be in 50th place. I don't care what spot you weigh in, and that, this is just a ridiculous event. It is. This is a special place. I mean, it's got giants and it's swimming all over it, and it shows from the guys. They caught them today. Uh, it was a little tough on me, really. I had caught a lot of fish, but I just had a hard time finding those big ones. I could get out there tomorrow, maybe make a few adjustments, change my routine up a little bit. First, I'm going to go take some ibuprofen. It got a little rough this evening coming in. Appreciate you. See you back here tomorrow. You know, it's just got giant swimming everywhere. I thought I was doing pretty decent. I caught 20 pounds, four ounces, but uh, it's going to be just outside the money right today. Uh, Hopefully I can go out tomorrow and do a little bit better. Maybe move up a few places. I sure would like to fish three days, man. It's a special place. It was a grind today. Change up my rotation a little bit. Maybe get a few big ones tomorrow. Maybe I can catch up 22 pounds and move up some. So, thanks for the support, guys. We'll see y'all later. Hope pretty good. Try to do it again tomorrow. Finish like in the top 15 or so. Oh, no. No, no, no. That's unreal. I've never. It's depressing, dude. Never experienced anything like and work your tail off to catch them. It wasn't easy like today. It's it's dang depressing to me because like I don't know how to go catch over twenty now. Yeah, you do. You should have today. Yeah. I mean, you got to land what bites. I mean, dude, 20, 21 15 is thirtieth. I mean, that's what I'm saying. You as we were right there, you know, one bite. I've never in my life seen 61 bags for 20 pounds, ever. Yeah, I I, I've never even heard of that, to be honest with you. I mean, that might be a record of some sort. I know, and I, we caught 20 and not even in the money. <laughs> we're terrible, dude. It's a weird feeling. Like, I was all happy about this thing. Like, oh, man, you know, we're really catching them. I mean, 17, 18 pounds is no problem. 20 pounds is probably real doable. 23, 24 is a, a, a real big possibility. And now it's like... I don't even know how to catch. I don't know how to. I don't know how to catch them tomorrow. Like I don't know, other than just going, just go fishing. Look at this, dude. I took my graphs off because that mount broke, you know. And I was trying to. I put them in the center box, and I put stuff on top of them to try to protect them. Cause I ain't got my covers. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, twilight zone. This. This. Uh. Something crazy i mean crazy matt hey you ever seen anything like this um uh, well i've been fishing professionally full-time for 14 years and i've fished tournaments for 25 years and i've never seen a tournament 
I think the most 20 pound bags I've ever even seen weighed in might have been Lake Fork and it was like 20. And that's Lake Fork where they have like 10 pounders. This is a smallmouth fishery and there was 61 bags mm. over 20 pounds. Out of 90. Out of 90 boats. <laughs> and Scott and I sitting here talking. When you see that, we're, you know, we, as professional anglers, we go through our minds and try to make adjustments and, 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 and better our weight and better ourselves and better our potential for the second day. But that's like when you're catching 20 and you're like, well, I need 21 and a half instead of 20. Like, what do you, like, you don't, we, it drives us insane, basically, is what I'm trying to say. It makes more and more of these things turn white. <laughs> hey, we, don't know, we don't know what to do. We're just going to eat pizza and maybe drink beer or something all night. <laughs> Stay up all night make me fish better. You know, you feel good about it when you catch 20 pounds. You're like, man, that's like the benchmark, right? I mean, 20 pounds, any tournament, any day of the week is usually a pretty dang good bag. And so I roll up to the weigh-in today, and I'm one of the first ones in the line. And the first 10 people that weighed in all had over 20 pounds. The first 10 people. And I'm sitting there like, I'm, I'm in shock. And then 20, I mean, when I say over 20, I'm not talking about like 21. I'm talking about 25, 25, 26, 27, 26, 25, 24. Crazy. <sighs> Crazy. It really is. I mean, we got to catch 25 pounds tomorrow. But I've got all day to do it. That's a good thing about it. So we're going to go have some fun at least. It is what it is, guys. Hey, catching fish is fun. Hope we can catch a couple of big ones tomorrow. Make it, make the cut, and then fish on day three. Make another big move. I don't know. Winning the tournament is probably a stretch at this point. When you come in with 20, I'm five, six pounds back. It's hard to make it up, so. Maybe catch 22. 21 might get you in, I don't know. <laughs> I figured if I got to 41, it might do it. Which would be 21, four for me. That's bad. I've been up since three trying to figure out how to catch. It's a weird dude, cause like 20 pounds. I heard you in there studying. Yeah, yeah. I was talking to myself. It was sort of weird, you was. Man, I didn't I know what you was doing. Oh, I didn't know yeah. what you was doing. Yeah, no, I had something in my throat. <laughs> It's so weird. You catch had 20 pounds. It was like a benchmark of like, uh, like that's a success. That was, my, that, was my, that was my target. Not my, <laughs> not my goal, but that was my target was to catch 20. And I'm in like 70 or something. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. They're hot, I think. I think so. I think I'm going to start over there on that deal again. Yeah, See if I can't catch. I'll be over there pretty quick. See if I can't catch some there, and then I'm gonna start working my way back towards. Well, I'm probably gonna glue, and then I'm gonna go to the mouth of the river, dude, and fish some of those bars and flats if it's calm again. Catch them on that fly. I mean, I caught several on that fly yesterday afternoon. If I saw one, I caught him. I mean, you go out and you formulate a plan. You know, 20 pounds is the benchmark. That's like okay, if we catch 20 pounds a day, we're gonna get a check. I don't know. The hard part is trying to figure out, you know, like what adjustment do you do to catch 23, 24, which, I mean, obviously there are some adjustments you have to do. And I think it's shallow. I really do. I, I mean, we haven't, you know, I haven't been able to look at anything online to see what really anybody's doing, but there's not enough big fish out. So I think it's a, I think it's a shallow bite. Beautiful morning, but it's a little crisp. It'll warm up quick. They're gonna catch them again today. I mean, when you have weather like this, usually here on the St. Lawrence, you know, you're gonna have a lot of wind to deal with. But the way this tournament's shaping up, I think it's four days total. It would be nice to be able to uh, make the cut today, put ourselves in position to maybe pull off something special. But we're definitely gonna need a 25 pound bag today to move up. And it's doable, obviously, it's very doable. So we're just gonna get out there and see what happens. and. Try to get uh try to get five big bites today. Make something make something special. Have a lot of fun. Yeah.
See if we get lined up on a couple. Fish are still here. There's a big one. That's a big one. Yeah. Like a four and a half or five. Jump again. Gah. Gah. He's so mad, bro. He's mad. That's a big one. That's a meat chunk. I like that meat chunk, baby. It's one of the ones we need. That's all I know. <laughs> You're pretty damn good, dude. It's four, three, four, four. In the box. Okay. Nice. Kid me. <laughs> Megan. I don't know how big he is, dude. He feels monster. He's gonna jump. I don't wanna see him. I wanna see him in the boat, dude. Oh, big smally. Big smally. Big, big one. <clears throat> Maybe not as big as the other one, but he's close. It's like 312. All right. Dang, that hurt, dude. Mm. Broke my freaking line. Very important little tip. When you drop your drop shot, when they're being finicky like this, make sure that it drops straight. See that? Yeah. It's not twirling. If you rig it on that thing just a different way, like if it's crooked, it'll twirl. When it twirls at the bottom, they don't bite it. Let's jump onto the boat. Not bad. I don't think he's he's not four pounds though. Looks like about a a three something. He's a short one. I'd say it's a three. Big, big.
Oh yeah, that's a good one. Dude, seriously. Alright, good. That's a fatty. That's a fat. That's over four. The hook fell out, dude. Look at that. Look at that. Look, I didn't even touch anything. I just literally lipped him and it fell out. Thank you, Lord. pounds but he's he's bouncing at four four but i think he's just four all right so that's nice. four is that four of them now four yep four okay Decent, not no big one. <laughs> Got to get bigger. Man, it feels like a big one. You just don't ever know. As a matter of fact, it's not a bass. It is big, but it ain't a bass. That's a big, pretty fish. Sure would like to caught him there in practice. Now. Bigger than that. Okay. Look around, look around, look around town. Oh no, look, 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 look around town. Get it, 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 get it. Got him. Got him. Monster, bro. Just six pounder, dude. Just a six pounder, dude. I don't even know what to say right now. I'm gonna throw up, dude. Dude, that was a six pounder, dude. Maybe seven. It was a six or seven pounder, dude. Oh, 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 please, 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 please. He was all over it, dude. There's two of them there. Got 
got him. Big one, dude. Monster. Freaking monster. Look at this smallmouth, dude. Look how big this thing is, bro. It's a freaking mule. The other one was that bigger, bigger, dude. Are you kidding me? Wow. Wow. I think he's over five. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. He's big, dude. Yeah. Five one. That boy. My first five pounder here on the Saint Lawrence. Listen, you have to do something for you. Thank you. Okay, that's five, right? Five, yep. Okay. That other one was so much bigger. I mean, that was a big one. I mean, it was a little bigger. Yeah, I know I'm one one more fish away from the cut is what I am. See him right there? the big black thing swimming on the water yeah he won't bite please get it baby oh it's a big one big one's on it giant one came up on it another five pounder I mean I'm gonna give up on them in a second but dude they're right here there he is Doing that. I mean, they're, 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 they're even the small ones are mean, but they, they ain't that mean. I mean. I've never had one do this. I just know he's running like a tuna, dude. Like literally, like a tuna. Can't get him off the bottom. Little, dude, he's little as <laughs> two pounds. What the? No, he's got it. Right, made him off. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I don't know, dude. Yeah, right. I don't want to catch him when he's five pounds. I know that. <laughs> you catch this dude when he's five, right. he's, gonna wear he's your breaking ass everything, dude. <laughs> he's taking all your line. There's another one.
gonna be a while before I tire this sucker out. <laughs> yeah, this ain't no baby here. That's a good one. That's probably a five pounder. That is probably a five pounder. That's a big one. That's a St. Got him. It's a big one, dude. Please stay on, Lord. Please stay on. Three and a half. Yeah, that's a good one. That would definitely help me. it helps a little bit actually he's not that big he's probably not going to help me much at all <sighs> it's exactly the same same you ever just get in these twilight zones that's what i feel like i'm in I feel like i'm in twilight zone we're gonna have to go here in a second Uh-oh, uh-oh. I think he's bigger than three. I don't know if he's gonna help me or not, dude. Maybe. Not even three. That was last cast. We gotta go. That's it, dude. Last cast. Didn't do much at all. Literally last cast. Let's bring up the 2019 Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Alabama, Scott Canterbury. 20 pounds, four ounces yesterday. Not so good today, he says. Five fish here today. 15 pounds, 12 ounces, gives him 36 pounds even. Outside of our projected cut, currently in 10th place. But let's hear it for the Skeeter Yamaha Pro from Alabama, former Elite Series Angler of the Year. Scott, unfortunately, outside the projected cut this time around, but man, this fishery, even being on the other side of it, as much as it hurts, you gotta be leaving here just scratching your head being like, wow, what a place. It is, it's crazy. I mean, it was just unbelievable yesterday. And that's how special this place is. I mean, I've I fished here a lot of days and over the past four, four years, and. Uh, that's probably the lowest bag I've ever caught practice or anything, and it was 15 and a half pounds, so that tells you how awesome a place this is. I, I did lose a few big ones today that probably hurt me, but uh, you know it is, and uh, we'll get ready for the next one, and uh, man, this is an awesome crowd. But looking forward to seeing how the crowd on the weekend, man. This will be awesome, guys. Appreciate y'all. Always great to have you here. Man, tough day for, uh, for me, day two. Uh, Man, I tried hard. I ran all over the place. I went shallow. I went back deep. Bounced around in four or five places. I thought I could catch a big one. It didn't happen. Caught 15 pounds. I left it all out there. Hopefully Matt and Scott can put, pull it out and uh, make the cut. I'll be able to cheer them on. Uh, see y'all at the next one.
died. It's gonna cost me the cut, dude. Okay. Not, not, not enough. Awesome. Good luck, man. A Bassmaster Classic qualifier, a seven-time FLW Tour winner from Clewiston, Florida. Get loud for Scott Martin. At 20 pounds and nine ounces yesterday, it's 19.9. Currently, to get inside the cut, five fish. 20 pounds, four ounces with 40 pounds, 13 ounces. He's inside the cut currently in 44th place. Only the top 47 get a chance to fish in semifinal Saturday. Two 20 pound days and uh, he might just be a little short of the cut. We'll see how it all shakes out, but man, what an incredible fishery. I mean, when you can go out and catch 20 pounds of smallmouth two days in a row and I mean, that's a special day. It was a lot of fun, you know. I caught a lot of fish, obviously, but my deal boiled down to just not getting those fish in the boat. I mean, these fish are powerful. When you're dealing with a five or six pound smallmouth, I'm throwing light line, seven pound line, little hair jig. I mean, it takes like three or four minutes to land a fish, and they're doing everything they can to get off, and it's, you know, I'm chasing them with the trolling motor. You just lose some of them, and that was really my deal this week. I just didn't put the ones I needed in the boat, but you know what? Again, 20 pounds a day, two days in a row, a lot of fun. Even though they'll get a check, it was worth it. Always great to have you here. We hope it works out good. We'll find out in just a few minutes. A three-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, two-time FLW Tour winner from Shelby, North Carolina, Matt Terry. At 19.13 yesterday, five fish that uh, here today. It's 20 pounds, six ounces to get in the cut, 21 pounds, 12 ounces. Inside the cut currently in 42nd place with 41 pounds and 9 ounces. Let's hear it for Team Toyota's Matt Airy. Went out in the Toyota Rap Ranger today and may have done just enough to get yourself back out there tomorrow. <laughs> I doubled the weights back there in my head from the cut line yesterday and it was 41.10. And uh, this place. It would not surprise me if it just doubled or went up with this crew, you know, but amazing fishery. Um, I let a few get away today that I'm going to regret, I'm afraid, but um, fun time this week, man. Throwing a, uh, throwing a super light line, six and five pound leaders, and just uh, takes you 10 minutes to reel one of these jokers in. That's the crazy part. And hey, let me tell you something. I learned this five years ago. Never, ever, ever spot lock it current with a five pound small mouth on any line. <laughs> Lesson learned. But uh, anyway, guys, it's been awesome. Awesome crowd. This, this place always shows out. Um, we'll keep our fingers crossed if we don't get good fishing tomorrow. Um, we'll look forward to South Dakota. Hope you get a shot. We'll find out at the end of our way in. Oh, frustrating day. Frustrating. I know you lost a bunch of big ones today too, man. Yeah, I just, I don't know how to spy bait. I know chunk it, wind it slow, and hold on when one hits it. And that's what I did, and I lost them, so. Dude, <laughs> uh, I, I probably need a more limber rod, honestly. You still have a bait caster? No. Oh. Some people do. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what Canterbury did. I, I think he only got 18, so we've He's already uh, weighed, right? Yeah, I think he has already yeah. weighed. Can't so right now, uh, it might be no cut. I mean, like the whole house cut thing last tournament, now we might be no cut. We're the no cut house with 20 pounds, with 40 pounds of fish. 40 pounds of small amount. I have no words. I mean, nobody thought it was going to be like this. At least we did. Yeah, I walked across stage. If you watched it on live, then you got to see what I said, it looks like I'm all happy and, you know, it's fun to be here, but I'm mad right now. I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't, I mean, it is what it is, but I'm just really freaking mad right now. And it's several things that I'm mad about. One is I'm mad that I lost some really nice fish today, but I, I don't know what I did wrong. I don't really can't even say that I did anything wrong. They just got off. But what I am mad about, what I'm real mad about, it's called preparation, okay? I said to myself before I left Clewiston, I'm gonna put my oxygen bottle in the truck so I can bring it and fish, put it in the boat, just in case, catch a big bag of smallmouth and can run some pure oxygen in the live well. I said this morning, hey, I need to grab my oxygen tank because I forgot it yesterday. I did not bring it today. And my live well pump started acting up. So I've got pumps out, I've got pumps that would work and then not work, and it killed two of my fish. I'm mad about it because there were two beautiful smallmouth, five pounder and a four and a half pounder, which is ridiculous to kill a fish those beautiful bass like that. And number two, I lost eight ounces, which I think is gonna cost me the cut. 
so I'm mad, just mad about it. This fish ran. How far did it run? Seriously, Mac was there. A hundred yards, dude. Like this. I mean, just it like, like, I don't even know, like it was a pike or something. I'm chasing it, dude, all across that bay. Won't jump. I'm like, this is a giant, dude. This is a freaking monster. Fight it for five minutes, dude. Hundreds of yards I go. Two and a half pounder. Huh? A two and a half pounder. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I said, if that dude. If that dude ever makes it to five pounds, he's going to break everybody's junk, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, Mac and them were watching the whole thing. They're like, "Dude, it's a big one." And then, what's the Canadian guy say? He, oh, it's a big one, eh? And then he lands it. He lands it, and he goes, "Oh, never mind." <laughs> oh, never mind. Well, I'm telling you, I hey. set up on it, but he went. <laughs> I'm like, "Oh my god." <laughs> I mean, I've caught 50 bass this week, and not one has done that. That's not even crazy. the big one's done that. Good job, Cod. You want a beer? They are all those empty? Yeah. These are good. Are you serious? You drank? Y'all ain't drank that many IPAs. I drank these. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. That's his right there. You drank seven IPAs? Yeah. You want one, Cod? Yeah. My God, there they are. <laughs> over I'm gonna jump on a plane in the morning fly home Hillary has a birthday on Monday I know you've heard us talk about how crazy this tournament was and really honestly I'm 20 something years of fishing tournaments I've never seen weight like this I don't know how you prepare for it we didn't have any indication it was gonna quite be like this deep down my gut before we got here was saying that these fish were probably shallow they had just come off the beds we're gonna probably still be roaming around the shallows and that was exactly true you know, we found a really good spot last day of practice, that shallow little deal. There was definitely some big ones in there. Just couldn't get them in the boat. You know, lost some fish and all that. So it is what it is, guys. Um, our next tournament is Lake Oahe, which is in South Dakota. And it's going to be similar to this. It's going to be that crazy of a deal. It's one of those tournaments that not a lot is known about the lake, which is kind of interesting and fun at the same time. But that's where we're heading to now. So I'm going to head home. We're going to go to ICAST this next week. Do some stuff in the Keys. Relax a little bit. A little bit of a break again. And uh, we'll get back at it. So thank you so much for watching these videos. Sorry that I got frustrated today. You know, I've just I'm, I put everything I have into these uh, tournaments. And to get my butt kicked with 40 pounds is just... I, I don't even know what to say. So thank you for watching. We will see you soon, guys. Bam!